What you're looking at right now is the map of Austria, and we're going to be discussing its history from 1900 to 2023. Alright, let's begin. In the beginning of the 20th century, Austria was a part of a union with Hungary and all the other countries that used to be a part of it, called Austria-Hungary. And just go watch the Hungary episode if you want to know what that is. I don't have time to explain to you what Austria-Hungary was. Anyways, a Serb on June 28th, 1914, named Gavrilo Princip, went on his way to assassinate Sofia Czovtik and her husband, the most notable one, Franz Ferdinand, who was the Archduke of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. This resulted in the July Crisis. The reason why I did not mention it in the Hungary episode is because at the time of making the Hungary episode, I did not know how to correctly summarize the July Crisis, but here it goes. Austria-Hungary declared invasion on Serbia, then Russia threatened Austria-Hungary that if they do that, they are going to pull that little trigger, then Germany was going to pull fire on Russia if they dare invading Austria-Hungary, and then France, Britain, and the US tried to put it down. Good luck, man. Uh, too late, guys. World War One just happened. Oh god, this is gonna go on for about four years, isn't it? During the final year of World War One, in 1918, Austria-Hungary was getting weaker and weaker day by day until at some point in October 1918, it completely dissolved and Austria became independent. 1919, Germany signed the Treaty of Versailles. How did the Austrians react? Well, like this. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Italy was also not happy because they did fight for the Allied powers because they were thinking that after they fight for the Allied powers for the rest of World War I, which they did, they were going to be rewarded new territories such as the Dalmatian coast and the Istrian peninsula. But by 1919, they only claimed the Istrian peninsula. And to keep Italy happy, Austria decided to give away the South Tyro region. Oh hey Italy, I heard that you did not get the Dalmatian coast, unfortunately, only the Istrian Peninsula. So I decided to give away the South Tyro region, but keep in mind, everybody there is like Germanic. But hey, it's all yours, take over. Okay. The South Tyro region still belongs to Italy till this day. Oh, and by the way, Austria started World War I, but the reason why Germany was blamed for World War I is because Germany took it further than Austria, took it the furthest, and that's why they get the blame, not Austria. In 1933, an Austrian painter named Adolf Hitler moved to Germany, became Chancellor of the country, rose back the economy, and called it making Germany great again. <sighs> more like, more like making Germany worse. Because you know them. And on March 12, 1938, the guy decided to annex Austria. Because, come on, he's Austrian. Bye, and this movement was called Anschluss. But this also began the Austrian identity crisis. Now people are going to call them German after the Anschluss. Austria was having fun during World War II. And by the end of World War II, they thought that they were going to get away with World War II. Much like how they got away with World War I. <laughs> No, silly. You were going to face the same severe consequences as Germany faced after World War II. You were going to be US, England, Britain, and France. Even after Germany got split into two, Austria was still stuck on the four zones of occupation. And they thought that they were going to walk the same path as Germany did. Being split into East and West Austria. The capital of Vienna being split into east and west of Vienna, building a Vienna wall, and West Vienna being the exclave of West Austria. How oh, silly. We're just going to grant you independence. We're not going to do what you expect us to do. Wait. Really? Yeah? Oh my god, this is a blessing after 10 years. So Austria was declared independence on May 15th, 1955. But on one condition, never to unite with Germany. And was declared a neutral state. There was a time when a bunch of people were singing around the Austrian Alps. Yes, this is the Sound of Music, a movie that was filmed in 1965. Yeah, it was filmed in this country. Oh, and there was also a time when an Austrian guy got famous for bodybuilding, governing the US state of California. 
and also being in this movie, The Terminator. Of course, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Austria joined the EU in 1995 and became one of the first countries to adopt the euros as a currency on January 1st, 1999, and nothing else changed. And here we are today. Austria is booming in tourism, the economy is stable, skiing in Austria is more impressive than skiing in Switzerland, and so much more to give to this country. The next episode is going to be on Australia. Stay tuned. Though we genuine.